All right, we're getting a look at our next competitor here, Leroy Davis. Leroy is a member of the Dark Horse Gym. He's a mixed martial artist, but more importantly, he is an extremely inventive, extremely creative, and powerful athlete. Leroy Davis has shown himself in the cage many times. This is his first time, however, at Car Jitsu Championship, but he has a very specific skill set that lends itself to this competition. All right, I am here with Leroy Davis, and uh, you know, I I think I recognize you because you've done MMA before, is that correct? I have. And the, I don't know, I mean, I, I specifically don't recognize you, but I remember somebody coming to the cage in a onesie. And so it's gotta be you, right? It is. Okay. <laughs> onesie. There's gotta be a story. Is there um, any story behind this? Well, like every story starts, my mother. Uh -huh. Okay, she spit me out in this world. <laughs> she got me into this. True story, that'll come later. But one day she bought me a onesie for Christmas and I was like, I liked it. I became so comfortable in it that I started wearing everywhere. And when I joined my first gym, I came in. And when they asked me my name, I'm like, I'm a boy, Wednesday Davis. Oh, that's actually your, in your fight name? Yes. Okay. But I ain't gonna lie, depending on how this goes, I may have to change my name to the Seatbelt Assassin. I'm ready. <laughs> nice, nice. So that, that story with the onesie when your mom you know, got you a onesie for Christmas, was that like when you were 14 or? Oh no, I was 18. <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm a man child. Right on. Word with pride. <laughs> so so uh, we know that you did MMA. What, what brought you you know that far? Did you start with MMA or did you have some background? No, growing up, I was a problem child. I was drawn to combat. Surprise. <laughs> Very drawn to combat. I'm like, it's no lie. Uh -huh. But I, I like it. I like it. I don't know why. I like it. Okay. So my mom disciplined me. First, I started off with karate. Then it was boxing. Then okay. kickboxing. I joined the military, and now I'm here. Okay. That's quite a story. So uh, now, any any plans for this this specific car jitsu? Like, have you been in a jiu jitsu tournament before? Actually, this is my first jiu jitsu ever, tournament wise ever, and. I mean, like the first thing it's in a car, I was like, where's the mat? We just made a leap and a jump. Yeah, but that's good because everyone's kind of starting, you're, you're starting the, the same level as everybody, right? Nobody's oh, been doing it in a car. No, so, no, yeah. I've seen some people doing it in a car. <laughs> I, my opponent already said he did it. I was like, oh, really? snap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, you, you were practicing in a car as soon as you found nah, out about this. No, nah, listen, the only practice I had in a car growing up was my mom from the front seat with the back of the hand telling me and my brother oh, so to chill your, out. Your defense is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, my defense is all right, but it's not strikes, this is grappling. <laughs> all right. All right, well, good luck, Leroy. This is Leroy Davis. I'm sure you won't forget him. Thank you. His opponent in this quarterfinal matchup is Puerto Rican kickboxer Melvin Bolito. Bolito is a veteran of Car Jitsu Championship and is just coming off of his second MMA win inside the cage, but his background definitely in striking. Bolito will use his experience here at Car Jitsu Championship to try and gain the edge with Leroy Davis. All right, I'm here with Melvin Bolito. And Melvin, you are all the way from Puerto Rico, is that right? Yep. But you've been living in the States for how, how long? Uh, five, six years. Okay. And, and you have a, a kickboxing background? Yep. Then you, you moved into MMA a little bit? Yeah, like two years ago. Okay. Now um, the natural evolution is Car Jitsu, right? So this is actually your second match. Yeah. So did you learn anything from the first time that you, you want to maybe incorporate in this one? Oh, that is harder than rolling on the mats though. It's harder than rolling on the mats. Yeah. But now you're prepared. So now he knows it's harder than rolling on the mats. So now you're, you're good, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, man. Well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Melvin. Ready for our next bout, we have Melvin Bolito, we have Leroy Davis. We're gonna do a, a coin toss, see who gets to choose. Melvin, call it. Uh, tails. Tails, it is heads. So, Leroy, you have your choice. Yes, sir. Where do you wanna go? I'm driving. You're driving, okay. You go ahead and get in the car for 30 seconds, check it out, all right? I'm gonna talk with Melvin here for a minute. So, Melvin, uh, I was talking to you a minute ago, and, and uh, you've got one thing. I was talking to you about the, the strategy, but you've got one thing on your mind. Do you know, do you know what that is? Uh, you just have fun and make a great fight, try to win, however, no. whatever way is possible. That's what it was. You, you're cutting weight. You just want to eat. You say, I want to get oh, yeah. to go eat. <laughs> Let's get this over with and go eat. Uh -huh. So have fun and then go eat. That's, that's the plan? Oh, yeah. Okay, and what do you got waiting for you in the car? Uh, meet love. 
Me, yeah. Meatloaf, meatloaf sandwich? Yeah, Somebody? I brought it with me. Okay, right on, man. All right, we'll go check out that car. Good luck, Melvin. Yep. All right, Leroy. How's how it look in there? It looks tight. Okay. <laughs> tight, tight as in good or tight as in like confined? Uh, confined and not good at all. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's questionable. It's very right. questionable. Now, you, you were watching the first one just now, right? I did, and it was crazy. I'm like, I don't know. This yeah, is, second this, thoughts? Yeah, yeah. It's not <laughs> like this is my first time seeing this. I basically got a two-day notice. Right. I figured out yesterday, and I was like, yeah, I can do that. And then I was like, wait a minute, should I? <laughs> yeah, I can, but should I? That's the question. Yeah. All right, well, it's too late now. You got to do it, man. I got to do it. Okay. I got to do it. Well, good luck. Thank you. All right. Leroy Davis will make his way to the driver's seat, and we will get this first three-minute round of the second quarterfinal of the Car Jitsu Invitational underway. It's Melvin Bolito versus Leroy Davis. Fighters, you ready? Buckle up. Hajime! And we're off. Immediately, Bolito gets the jump on Davis and climbs over into the driver's side seat. He's looking to gain mount. He slide his right knee over into the other side of the seat and that'll be four points for Bolito. Now, any points scored during the match will only go to the season's leaderboard. They will not be relevant to the match itself. You have to win by submission at Karjitsu Championship. Bolito looks to be trying to wrap the seatbelt around the neck of Leroy Davis. Uh, Leroy now has taken the seatbelt and pulled it outside of the car. And now it looks as if Melvin Bolito is going to apply pressure and try to push Leroy outside of the car. And again, that is allowed at Car Jitsu Championship. The only issue is that either of the competitors fall outside of the car to the point of touching the ground below, then we will stop the action and restart them in their original positions. Now, it looks like Leroy is having a few words here with Melvin. He's trying to throw up an arm bar or a triangle here, but he just can't find enough extension. He's basically lost the lower half of his body when he's leaning outside of the car. Bolito still applying pressure. Bolito wanting badly to get in mount. He's having a difficult time. There's a nice leg shield here from Davis. Davis is a very strong competitor. Bolito has the edge in experience. You can see the officials are watching intently. Bolito almost opened up the driver's side door. Very dangerous. He's taking advantage of the of the air on the outside of the car. Inside the car, 85 degrees. Outside of the car, not so much. A lot of pressure from Bolito must be affecting the lower back of Davis. He's trying to slide back down into the car. And here he comes. Deep into the round, still not a point scored and no submission. You must win the round by submission. If there's no winner in round one, of course, we go to round two and we will switch seats to begin that round. A submission in round two could win the match. If there's no submission in either of the first two rounds, we will move to the back seat for the third round. Now here we have both fighters hanging outside of the driver's side window. Leroy's trying to work to the back of Bolito. Bolito's not liking that idea at all. A lot of action happening over the side of the driver's side window. Very difficult position. Neither of these competitors with a, a clear submission attempt here, but a lot of jockeying for position. Looks like Leroy's going to go back into the car here, and we're going to finish round one with no winner. Time. Huh? And that's going to do it for round one. And it looks like the competitors are already in place for round two. Now, between rounds, there is no predetermined break. Just enough time for each competitor to switch to the next position and immediately begin the second round. So once they get buckled in, we'll start the three-minute second round. Hajime! And round two is underway. A little bit of a delay there getting out of the seatbelt. But Bolito gets the jump again and now proceeds to smash Leroy into the passenger seat. Leroy doesn't like it. 
He's got a hold of the left leg and now the right leg of Bolito. He's going to try to lay him down in the front seat. Now, these guys are absolutely exhausted and it's very hot inside the car. All right, Bolito seems to be going to his back here in the front seat. I'm not so sure Leroy's not trying to press him into the back seat here. A lot of pressure from the top here, and here they come back outside of the car, this time the passenger side window. Back to the seat belt. Leroy's got the seat belt around the front of the throat of Melvin. Melvin's going to try to create some distance here. This is a tough, tough situation. Lots of pressure on the front of the throat here. Melvin trying to escape, trying to create pressure with his legs, trying to create distance rather. Okay, now Leroy's going to go behind the neck now. Oh, and he switches to the front, but he can't quite get it, and now we're out of danger. Melvin Bolito controlling the posture he needs to get out from under Davis. Davis still has that seat belt in his eyes. And there it goes around the throat again. Very crafty. He's going to switch hands here. Oh. And there you have it. Leroy Davis winner with the seat belt show. Fantastic debut performance for Leroy Davis. He'll be moving on in the tournament. Melvin will go to the loser's bracket. Back out, huh? Hey, I told you, I'm here. I'm driving, baby. I'm driving. <laughs> I like how you guys, like, after that first round, just automatically were on the other side, just naturally. You're ready to go. That's how it went. Like, at first, he was trying to toss me out the window. I'm like, if you're tossing me, I'm you going with me. I'm tossing yeah, you, too. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, right? no. he, he started initiating, and then you went for, with it, right? Yeah. Started pushing him out as well? Like, I don't know how, but I pull a guard uh -huh. in the middle of all this small space, and it's what they say, jiu-jitsu. It's a game of inches. Right. And I had them inches. Yeah, yeah. I had so, them. So talk me through the, the submission here. So you, you pushed him down low, right? I pushed him down low, and then he trucked me out the window again. I'm like, we can't do this again. <laughs> but then I finally got him turned over, and like I said, I'm the seatbelt assassin. Oh, you got it. I was easing it in with the seatbelt, but he caught it. I'm like, a true assassin would never fails. So you and didn't give up? You kept going? I did it up. Like, he slipped it popped me up but when he popped me up his hands came up and the belt was on his chest and i slipped it up doubled up not pushed right that's what on. we got right on man well you did it I congratulations did it. thank you but here's the, i don't know if this is good news or bad news there's more to come <laughs> <laughs> so catch your breath man all right let's go Woo!